I have been editing videos for a majority of my life and this has always been a common occurrence. Oh, I knew this day would come. So I built the most powerful budget editing PC that my current money can buy. And to be honest, it's way stronger than I expected. By a lot. So when these parts arrived in my house, I showed it to my friends and their response is Do I really need to explain what computer parts are? So all in all, my audience doesn't know PC parts that well. So if you already know a bit about PC parts, you can skip to this timestamp here. And for all of you that don't know PC parts that well, then let me explain a really bad summary about it. So first of all, the CPU, you've probably heard it from your local PC shops that a higher number is better. Well, well, uh, technically, uh, nah. now each of these CPUs have their own cores and own threads with specific frequencies. Please bear with me. A frequency is usually measured in Hertz with megahertz being commonly used in RAM and freaking i'm talking about cpu so cpus are usually measured in gigahertz now and the smallest unit of it is called hertz which is a single cycle of a clock imagine it like a hamster wheel running around in a hamster wheel freaking and it runs one lap around that thing that is a single clock cycle so imagine billions of hamsters inside of your cpu running freaking, that's a freaking bad analogy so every lap that a hamster runs around in that hamster wheel is a single clock cycle and for every single clock cycle there's amount of instructions that can be done to the computer so i think that's it so moving on to our next component that I'm gonna explain horribly, the RAM. So imagine that you are doing stuff on your computer, probably opening different programs. A good example is Google Chrome. So if you have more tabs, it's gonna use more RAM because you have more things running in the background. And the last one is the motherboard. The motherboard is usually where the CPU sits and the motherboard usually reroutes the power from the power supply to the other components, distributes it equally so that uh, you don't burn your house down. That's why it's really important to have a motherboard, a good one with a lot of cooling like heat sinks. Motherboards are also divided into chipsets. Different chipsets usually provide different compatibilities like extra PCI Express lanes and probably extra USB slots, Wi-Fi, and overclocking support. Higher-end CPUs usually need a mid-range to a high-range motherboard to function properly because if you don't, then your house will burn down. It seems like the parts are here. Well. Let's upgrade this bad boy. And now for the benchmarks. 
So as you can see, this Ryzen 9 5900X completely blows everyone out of the water in single threaded and multi threaded benchmarks on CPU Z. Oh my god. <laughs> and with Cinebench, it completely blows it. Okay, there's really no surprise. There's no freaking competition here. Oh my god. And that's it. Overall, I think this will last me a long time. I hope you enjoy your day and prepare for more videos like this one.